My name is Mustpassum63, formerly known as Mars to Free here. And today, I'm going to be showing back my memories for the cameras of my Miss Pac Man for a Charge Run 600 review. Look back. This is early summer of 2018. This is before I released my Swim Rider Logan and Get Rid of Jeffy video. This is still at the time I was fairly irrelevant. Well, I was already relevant from the start. This is before Cringe Archives found me. This is before the Fake Jeffy 64 found me. This is even before some of my old allies found me. I was spamming out video game review one after another. And I ran out of plug and plays and handhelds to review. So I looked to some of my consoles that play cartridges to play games on. For review. My first choice was obviously it has to be an older console, and second it has to be one of the most famous games in the world, so I chose one of the most obvious games I can find and play, Miss Pac-Man for 800 And probably during this review, I'm not gonna be sounding as confident as I am now. So let's go back to the past and relive some old memories, maybe for the best, or maybe for the worst. Today I am reviewing Miss Pac-Man on Atari 2600. This was made by ni May 1982 by Atari and pretty much more arcade accurate version of Miss Pac-Man. Pretty much comparing it to Pac-Man on Atari 2600 which is trash. I'm going to show you some gameplay. See, this is like Miss Pac-Man. It plays exactly like it. The maze may look a little different, but this is definitely Miss Pac-Man. So, if you have an Atari 2600, buy this. This is a good version of Miss Pac-Man. While those other versions of Miss Pac-Man don't look exactly like the arcade, if you're a fan of the Atari 2600, get this. This is the end of the review, so thank you for watching and see my other videos.